thanks for joining us for this session today. And I'd like to introduce you to a new capabilities and features uh, with Team Center. That's very exciting, uh, beginning of uh, uh, the capabilities. Uh, mainly that the way it started is that the, according to uh, multiple surveys, the knowledge workers uh, spend between 20, 30% of their time searching for information. Uh, the nature of these search tasks can vary and the knowledge workers utilize a variety of public, private, and company-owned data sources in their search process. The predominant method uh, used for search is search engine, which uh, recommends a content from a database or search index based on a user's search criteria. This method typically referred to as a full text uh, search and works well for exploratory search tasks such as research and learning, but it's suboptimal and time consuming when uh, searching for explicit information buried in one or multiple files. Recent advancement in um, generative AI and, in, and the increasing capabilities of large language models are revolutionizing search uh, uh, capabilities. So LLM powered chat box with their advanced natural language processing capabilities can provide the direct and human-like answers in response to natural languages uh, uh, queries that uh, you, one may ask. So when uh, connected to data source such as Team Center, these chatbots can provide expert level on-demand insights across vast knowledge domains that are grounded in your organization uh, source of truth. So in this session, uh, I'd like to introduce you to uh, Team Center AI Chat, which is an AI-powered chatbot that enables you to query document-based control. Uh, product uh, knowledge managed in your uh, PLM environment. This new powerful feature was introduced with Team Center version 2406. And, and, and in future releases, it's, going, it's definitely going to get more and more capabilities. Very compelling features with AI, with visualization, AI for visual scene generation, the voice to text with uh, summarization with the Team Center Teams app. This new feature, Team Center AI Chat brings the power of large language models right into the core foundation of Team Center. Generative AI has the ability to create new original content autonomously, mimicking human creativity and imag imagination, which is different from traditional machine learning that can perform classification and prediction. Uh, Pre trained models, they are different from traditional machine learning models um, in that they, they're already trained on large data sets before being deployed for uh, specific tasks. Uh, team center knowledge base structures your organization's data coming from multiple sources, from uh, parts and product specifications, from uh, regulation and standards, from your FAQs, work procedures, uh, material specifications, manufacturing process specifications. So all of that can be indexed and uh, can be have it accessible to your engineers. Uh, Team Center AI chat utilizes powerful large language models in a secure retrieval augmented generation RAG architecture to deliver enterprise grade AI powered question answer service. Using natural language, you can pose questions to chatbot and receive responses that are grounded in your company's data. Uh, it also provides link to source files that inform its responses. And the Teams and AI chat can provide answers to queries that are within its scope of knowledge. You define its scope of knowledge based on data that you index um, uh, in the service uh, within your organization. As far as file types and extensions to index, uh, Team Center uses Apache Tika for text extraction. Uh, also supports integration with custom extractions for custom file types. So as you can see, the following file formats can currently support it out of the box uh, in, in multiple uh, format that you can see listed here. Uh, Team Center is 
very often the gold source of technical documents across uh, and the uh, information you have in your, in your in a database. So in this um, quick example, we simply go go to the AI chat box, and then uh, engineers can ask a question in a natural language, um, and be able to uh, get recommendation for say material specifications. Team Center AI chat goes through the data set and extract the information from a large amount of data available to it and present the recommendation in a very short, concise format and also show, show you where it found the information. It shows you the source that the information was found. And then you can continue the information gathering by asking more questions on, on, on the conversation you have with Chatbot. And mainly in this example, for uh, you're asking again for what factors are important for material selection, and then it goes and uh, searches the again the database again, and and then gives you uh, a very short list, concise uh, answer from reading from a large data set which has already been indexed with Team Center, shows the relationship of the information uh, very nicely uh, throughout the Team Center. Um, and uh, in this use case, you see text in scanned format and images. So you can retrieve relevant information from scanned documents and image files. Um, you can get answers from large uh, repositories of scanned and image formats managed in Team Center. Uh, in this example, uh, engineers are asking the availability of product options. Uh, so then it uh, shows you the source uh, where they found the information, scans through product specification, and extract the information based on um, the, the question was, was asked. Um, the conversational interaction with uh, requirement managing team center is also very powerful. You can gain a deeper understanding of requirements. Um, and a lot of organizations have these requirement documentations uh, in different formats, uh, and they can all bring it into Team Center and start uh, make it available to the uh, AI chatbot. You can make more informed decisions and identify potential issues of gaps. Uh, continue um, updates, uh, ensuring the responses are uh, remain current. In this case, asking about HVAC system. From a large documents and specifications, engineering documents is already in the system. Uh, give me key factors of HVAC system, and then further drill down into subcomponents and give me some recommendation for design. Uh, always show me uh, the system will always show you the the source of information, where you found the information, and then further asking you can ask for more recommendation for design uh, positioning, for example. Um, then, uh, in this in this case, uh, interacting with the text in CAD uh, CAD file, so notes and text from NX and solid edge drawings, which is supported at this point. So you can say PMI text, product in manufacturing information text, and notes from NX models. The PMI information is used to convey all necessary information to produce and inspect the part accurately without relay, relying on uh, separate two D drawings. So PMI includes assembly instructions and material specifications. So then, again, asking questions how to, for example, in this case, how to avoid issues and reevaluating the options uh, for uh, uh, for this case. So then it goes, even though looking at the NX uh, data set, looking at the notes and text, and gives you the information it finds. So the evolution of uh, team center search, as as you know, the Right now, you have a very powerful search capabilities based on the attributes. Uh, and the, traditionally, you have a full text search of structured and unstructured data in your team center environment that recommends the most relevant files in response to the search. But then in team center AI chat, the natural language dialogue with document-based knowledge in your team center environments can give you a lot of uh, uh, Kind of information from multiple sources. 
again, large set of data. So the RAG architecture grounds uh, the large language model responses in your data and links to source files and then give you the hyperscale hosted environment. The recent wave of AI advancement is making possible remarkable new capabilities in Team Center that will create significant value for your customers. Uh, Team Center AI chat starts you on a journey by helping you to get more value from one of the most significant assets, your data. So you can contact Saratech today to learn more about how to Organize, how the organization can benefit from these new capabilities, the Teams and AI chat, and how to get started. The, um, the architecture, again, it's uh, configuring your knowledge base, and scope of the data comes from parts, product specification, regulation, standards, inspections, and again, these are information that are all coming from different sources, from engineering, from manufacturing, from suppliers, that can that knowledge base can be accumulated, indexed, and then make it available to engineers through the AI chatbots. So as um, uh, as stated before, is mainly start using the tools and capabilities and see what what the power it has. So in the prompt prompt engineering, which is a term used now uh, nowadays, often you hear that it's very important that you be uh, you have some good prompts to be able to help the uh, AI chatbot engine to give the information you need. Clearly define the primary objective, define the clear role uh, to the AI. Uh, these are, uh, you know, what what role you're playing in, in a way. And break down the task requirements into clear, uh, definable chunks. Define the tone of the answer you want, in what, uh, how you want it to be presented, and then uh, the output, the format you want. It the table format, uh, bullet points, paragraphs, uh, in white paper formats, all of that can be can be kind of uh, mentioned. So uh, in summary, Team Center AI chat accelerates the information seeking process for a variety of tasks. You can search for information and insights directly and get responses that are grounded in your organization's data and traceable to their sources within Team Center. It unlocks insights from your document-based knowledge by accessing and contextualizing your organization's data stored in Team Center. The chat solution enables you to make more informed decisions based on comprehensive and synthesized uh, information. Team Center AI chat is grounded in your organization's data stored in Team Center, and its responses are based on the most up-to-date information available within your Teams and environment. This helps reduce errors and risk of making decisions based on outdated information or unreliable source. And lastly, it's secure. With Teams and AI chat, you can uh, you see that your data remains secure within the confines of your Teams and environment. It integrates with your established security protocols and enforces uh, team center access management policies. And as it's grounded in your organization data, it helps discourage employees use of unsecured chatbots by providing more relevant, useful information. So, sorry. Okay, I think that was a quick overview of the new capability which now we have in Team Center uh, version 2406. And that was released in uh, middle of 2004, uh, 2024. And then of course, there's new versions that are coming up in December. So you see more and more capabilities coming up. So we'll just open it for questions. Yes, the first question we have here is, um, what kinds of questions can Team Center AI Chat not answer? So uh, Team Center AI Chat, uh, cannot answer questions outside of scope of knowledge. So it's uh, whatever is defined by data index in your service by, by uh, your environment, uh, it, can, it can search for that kind of data. But it cannot answer questions related to structured data in Team Center, which is not available or is not indexed. This capability is released in, again, in Team Center. Uh, there are more capabilities released in 
Team Center 2412. It's coming up uh, shortly, so you can see more more uh, structured uh, data uh, retrieving capabilities available. Okay, um, thank you. Next question is from Does Team Center AI Chat hallucinate? Good question. <laughs> Team Center AI Chat. Uh, provides responses that are grounded in your organization data. As such, the scope of uh, team center chat's knowledge is limited to the data you, you have indexed to the service. If a query is uh, po posed to team center chat that is out of scope or to which is not uh, know the answer, it would just respond accordingly rather than provides an incorrect response uh, at this point. Okay, thank you. And then last question is, um, what safeguards are in place to protect our data and IP? When yep, we use another it. good question. Um, so Team Center utilizes the endpoints of large language model stack configured and owned by, by you in your own uh, account. It can be either your cloud environment or your uh, um, on-prem. So data is exposed to the embedding models to vectorize the data stored in vector database and to the large language model to generate the answers so that the data is safeguarded uh, by the data handling policies uh, that are uh, already defined by your IT um, environment. So the safeguards to protect customer data or your own data are provided by uh, the, uh, for example, if you're using Azure on Amazon, there are those services that are already uh, kind of uh, protected uh, within that uh, IT policy. So there are uh, several IT policies uh, within your uh, either IT department or Amazon or Azure, if you're using cloud, that defines that. Thanks. And then actually one more question, <laughs> sorry. Um, is our data used for training these AI models? Uh, no, the AI models uh, do not learn from companies' data. Um, so at this point, so it's the, it's primarily as you add more and more documents and knowledge into the system, then it can take advantage and, and, and provides the information. But uh, at this point, is not um, kind of a machine learning type uh, setup. All right, thanks, Hassan. Um, that is it for the questions.